All right, hello, my name is Austin. I'm an account manager here at HMI. Today we're gonna to go over flushing of your uh, Graco reactor. Um, in your flushing kit that you purchased from us, you're gonna be getting this small pamphlet with step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. You're gonna be getting jugs similar to this. They're just gonna say flushing kit A side, um, flushing kit B side. And you're gonna to wanna to have two just clean waste buckets available. First thing we're gonna do on your steps in here, it's gonna show you what the items are that you need, tools you need, things that you have to do, label buckets, and so on and so forth. So, first thing that we're gonna do is actually remove the transfer pump itself. I already got this loosened up. We're gonna actually remove this from our barrel and place it into our A-side flushing fluid. Make sure you're, you're getting the flushing kit, um, or the flushing fluid itself. There's gonna be four different barrels, so make sure you read the the exact labels on each one. So we're going to take that out and place that into our bucket. All right, now for our next step, we have removed our pump out of the barrel and we have placed it into our A-side flushing fluid. Now, if you, and these are all step-by-step -step on here. If you go in order with that, it's uh, almost dummy proof. So we're actually going to um, hook up our compressed air. You don't need any power for this. And you don't need to use any of the compressed air that's actually in your rig. You, like today, we're just hooking this up to uh, the airline right out of our shop here. So that's the only thing that you're gonna need to do all of this. Next step, we're gonna take an adjustable wrench. On the side of your, your pump, most of you already know where your Y screen is located. There's gonna be a yellow handle for a ball valve that we are going to turn to the side to turn off the, and cut the fluid off. Then we're just going to put our dust ball on there, spin this off. A little bit of fluid is going to come out, so have like a rag like I do or a bucket down there. You're going to get your, your cap, put that to the side. Inside of there, you're going to pull out this Y screen, just a small mesh screen. You're going to place that to the side. You can spray it out if you would like with just some brake cleaner. Spray it out, clean it all nice and good. Place that to the side. We're done with that for now. We're going to be putting this cap back in where we took it up. All right, once that is placed in there, we're going to take a 9 16 wrench, channel lock, put it on here. We're going to remove our recirc line from our transfer pump. The recirc line is the smaller of the two. You're going to take this and put, put this into your empty discard bucket. All right, now that we have our compressed air hooked up, um, we have our Y screen cap back on. We're gonna turn our yellow ball valve handle back into the open position. We're gonna turn our recirc handle to the recirculate position, and now your fluid's gonna start coming through. Now, once this fluid goes from A material to the clear flushing fluid that we have our pump set in, that's when you know you are completely flushed. All right, now that we're spraying clear, we're gonna put our recirc line into our flushing fluid. So we're not pushing any more A material. We're gonna turn this back on and just run this for a few minutes just to completely flush out that A side recirc line. All right, now that we have recirculated this in there for a few minutes, we are going to reconnect this back to our, our recirc line back to our transfer pump.
And once we tighten that all the way, we're gonna remove our A-sided hose from the back of our gun, like so. We're gonna just do it like that. We're gonna place our handle back into the pump position. And now we are gonna continue flushing just the side of our line. As you can see, it's all A material. We're just gonna go until this goes to clear, just like our research line did. After this goes clear, uh, depending on how many feet of hose you have, it may take a little bit. You're just gonna place this back into the top of your flushing fluid, just like we did with this research line. All right, so now that we have been flushing the hose for a while, we are starting to get thinner and almost to our clear liquid. Now that we have reached our clear liquid, we're gonna place our end of the hose back into our we, uh, flushing fluid here. We're just gonna turn this back on. And we're just gonna let this run the five, for five to 10 minutes to completely flush that line of any uh, A residue that may be left in the system. All right, so now that we have recirculated our entire line of flushing fluid for the last couple of minutes, we're actually gonna take one of these small end uh, line caps that are actually provided with your flushing kit. Um, we're gonna just screw this onto there so I don't gotta reattach it to the gun. Now we are actually just gonna take this out of our flushing fluid and we're gonna repeat the entire process with our non-moisture plasticizer, our storing fluid. So now you can put your cat back on your flushing fluid here. Move that out of the way. Slide this into position. Good. All right. Place this in the recirc. All right, now I'm gonna dispatch my recirc line here, just like we did earlier for the flushing side. I'm gonna place our handle back into the recirc position. I'm gonna actually lift it out of here and pump two strokes of just air. Now when I put it back in here, once I hit that air pocket, I'll know that I've, I've reached uh, the point of just plasticizer, just two clear liquid. So there's my air pocket, and now I'm back to my fluid, so I can turn it off. So now that I've finished with that, I'm gonna reattach my research line. Put my handle into the spray position. Make sure this is on. So pop off. All right. Now I'm going to take my hose that I capped earlier from the flushing. Go back into my waste bucket. I do the same thing where I suck a couple strokes of air. Now once I put it back in here, I'm gonna flush the entire hose system now until I once again hit that air pocket where it spits once or twice and goes back to 
fluid. That way I know I've completely flushed the entire system with the plasticizer and storing fluid. Now that I hit my spitting, my air pocket, I know I've flushed it completely with the plasticizer. And now that it's all completely in the hose, I can take my cap, recap my A side. And now I'm gonna complete the exact same process now on the B side. All right, now that I've capped my A side, my entire A, side of the system has been flushed with the flushing fluid and I have plasticizer storing fluid all the way throughout the system. I'm going to take my provided PVC tube, disconnect my air, and with the remaining plasticizer that I have in this jug, I'm going to put that into this tube, dump this into here, and that's going to be my my storage container for my transfer pump. Now I'm gonna do this, the rest of this entire process, exact same order for the B side of the equipment.